Snatch Drunk. Hey, we're back. Welcome back to Snatch Drunk Plays Mega Man X2. We are continuing with the Morth Moth stage. You know, I've been watching a couple other Let's Plays from some random people, some of the more popular people that do Let's Plays of games of this nature. And, uh, whoa, ouch. It occurs to me that a lot of those people are extremely hyper. Like, you could, you could tell me that, like, those guys do at least four or five lines of cocaine before every episode. I'm not going to name names or anything, but you guys probably know who I'm talking about. But there's certain people out there like, Jesus Christ, how the hell can they keep up this energy without resorting to illegal controlled substances and hardcore freaking drugs? I just don't get it. I can't maintain... I, that's not me. I could never be like, oh, <laughs> look at the big of it, and like super like hyper spastic reactions and all that shit. That's just not me. Can I what can I do here? Ah clever. Oh, not clever. Anything up here? No. No, yeah. So yeah, maybe I was considering, hey, maybe if I did like, you know, it caught up with my local dealer and did some cocaine before every uh, episode. Maybe maybe I can uh, get 20,000 views for every episode. Not that that's really that important to me. I just do this for fun. But it's like, good God almighty, how can they keep that up? By the way, this part of the level is, prob is arguably the best part of this game to grind. If you need to fill up your, your, uh, your tanks, your sub-tanks, or... Do whatever it is that you need to do. Fill up all your weapons. Do it here. Because you just go back and forth just like I'm doing now. And just fill up everything. These grasshoppers here will give you a lot of stuff. Uh-oh. Shit. Yeah, anyway. I have uh, I have tried cocaine before. It's not... I, I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> it's really... Uh, it's really... Ah! Damn it. Ah, two of them. The thing about what what co what cocaine does, I've only tried it once, but what it does is it turns up your personality to about a thousand percent. It like it's just like, oh my god, everything is awesome. Now I'm gonna get everything done, and everything's gonna be the greatest because I'm the greatest, and I'm a superhero, and blah 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 blah. It is it is uncontrollable, and then that crash when you come down is really, really bad. Wow, that was fast. So yeah, I, I, I think certain personalities um, lend themselves, and certain personalities and certain how people, how people are wired lend themselves a little better to certain drugs and certain, and that, co that goes for like everything from coffee to alcohol. Like I, I drink a little bit of coffee every morning. Um, but if I drink too much, I'm finished. I'm, I'm going to be awake until 5 a.m. Even if I drink, you know, a huge cup of coffee at like 10 in the morning, I'm going to be up for the next 20 hours easily. There's no way I'm falling asleep that night. That's just how I'm wired. That's just how it is. I have a really thin stomach lining. Oh, probably too much information there, but whatever. Is there a weapon I can use to get rid of this guy? Maybe the wheel? Oh, that backfired. Oh. That actually kind of worked at the same time. Ah, thank you. So now I am fully prepared for the uh, Morph Moth fight. And for that, you need the flame. Because Moth drawn to a flame, etc., etc. Captain Obvious came up with that setting. Anyway, yeah. You just watch him swing from a, th a silk thread like a spider, and he literally throws crap at you. Just a bunch of crap. <laughs> you can try and dodge it. I don't uh, think you'll be very successful. The most annoying thing is that you're, uh, uh oh. Yeah. Good luck trying to dodge that. Probably going to need a sub tank eventually. Uh oh. Now he's going to bust out his final form, and I really like this form, and I like his pattern here, because it allows me to do what I do best, which is dash like crazy. There we go. 
See, top down stuff like that is my forte. I'm actually not terrible when it comes to that. And Morph Moth has been defeated. What weapon could we get from a moth? I wonder. Dun, 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 All right. Now the moth weapon, does it shoot a bunch of moths at you and they get in your clothes and eat holes in your clothes? No, it's even worse than that. It's a silk shot, which s sprays into four different directions when, you, when it hits the ground. I hate that weapon, hate it. And yet, it's what's necessary to defeat this next boss, which is Magna Centipede. I don't know what Silk has to do with a centipede. Maybe it's the whole, like, get, can centipedes get caught in a, it, do they get eaten by spiders, moths, insects, when they get caught in silk webs? I don't know, I'm overthinking it. Anyway, back to cocaine. I don't, <laughs> I don't recommend it because it will, the worst part of it for me was not only the, the come down, not only the, um, the, uh, the feeling of like, oh God, like just the overwhelming, like holy shit feeling of uh, everything is amazing and awesome and I can't handle how amazing and awesome everything is and how amazing and awesome I am. Not only that, but um, it's how you physically respond to it is so, so, so unpleasant. Like my heart was beating a thousand beats a minute. Watch out for the trap here. There we go. And watch out for this. Ooh, that was actually close. But yeah, physically, uh, I'm not cut out for drugs of that nature. Now, booze, on the other hand, that's my shit. Whiskey, beer, any of that. Booze I shy away from is like ouzo. I think that's a French hard liqueur. That shit is terrible. Um, a friend of mine also, and a friend of mine and myself also tried this uh, stuff called Domsk, which was <laughs> it's got to be the worst shit ever. And here we have um, the game making use of its uh, special chip here that makes the game, made the game somewhat expensive back in the day. I think this game cost like $70. And this is why, uh, because of this uh, extra chip that did this 3D rendering. Uh, it didn't do a whole lot of this, sadly. I wish it did. But uh, yeah, here's one uh, example of that. Uh, it's just you have to shoot the hilt of the sword and, and dodge it. It's got the same two patterns over and over again. So it's not tough at all, but it's a pretty cool mini boss. It's a definite change of pace from the other mini bosses you're used to seeing from the usual pixel art. And he gives you your life back, so thank you for that. Ah! Uh oh. Now, what you want to do here is just dash, dash, dash. Dash, 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 dash some more. Avoid all this shit. Just keep going to the right as fast as you can and avoid those crosshairs. And for some reason, I did not get here fast enough to get to the mini boss. Oh, well, that, that guy probably didn't even decide to be there this time. That's why those things are such a pain in the ass. Because they might be there, they might not be there. But anyway, here's another mini boss right after the last one. If you got caught in the crosshairs from the previous segment, then that's this boss's way of knowing a little bit about Mega Man and to better utilize its attack formation, its uh, attack patterns to fight you. Like it will do one, it will jump more often, it'll do one attack high, one attack low, so you have to duck and jump. Um, I forget what the other thing it, it does is, but it jumps more often, it, it varies its attacks, it does some other stuff. It's a really cool touch. Uh-oh. Whoa. What? I didn't even know you could die from that. That's bullshit. Oh, I'm at least past the mini boss. Okay, good. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, fuck that. Oh, see, it fell on top of me the same way. I didn't die that time. Wow, I've never seen that before. That's a bunch of bullshit. All right, I fully expect to use a sub tank in this part because I hate this silk shot weapon. It is terrible. And it's a really ugly color scheme, too. Green and... It's like kind of a lime green and orange. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like... At least if you hit him once, he loses his tail. So this guy just 
teleports, and then you have to kind of do the do the math to try and hit him, which is such a pain in the ass. Nope, missed him. Damn it. Nope. I mean, okay, if I go over here and hit him that way. Oh, just missed. This weapon is so frustrating. I just hate it. Ah! This again. I'm just gonna go up and fucking hit him that way. You know what? I'm gonna use a, a sub tank here, and I'm just gonna switch to the other fucking gun. Cause fuck that other gun. It's too annoying. I'm just gonna beat him the old-fashioned way. This guy's not that hard. He's just time-consuming. Again, that is. While this this may be kind of a cheap way to be time-consuming with the teleporting. Um, ah. I do like how the boss battles in this game, even if you have the boss's weakness, um, even if you have the boss's weakness, you would, uh, the, the boss's boss battle still lasts longer. You still have to hit him like 10 or 12 times with his weakness, with his weakness weapon. Boy, I'm going to have to use another sub tank, aren't I? Ah, oh, got him just in time. Uh, like three more hits, I think. Two more hits. Come on. Ah! Scared me. <laughs> and one more hit should do it. Oh, just missed him. God damn it. Got him. Phew! All right, that took a while, but we got the job done. Magna Centipede is no more. So yeah, you'll notice so far I have not really gone back and gotten any heart pieces, gone out of my way to get any extra stuff, any upgrades or anything like that. I think I might start to do that in the next episode. Um, so, hey, oh, let's take a look at his weapon first. Hey, that's a cool color scheme. I like the gray and yellow. Magnet Mine. Again, it's another kind of blah weapon. Whatever. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.